Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are in Satisfactory this afternoon. I don't normally stream on Tuesdays, but I think that's going to be changing for the month of September or the month of September, I should say. Uh, of course, tier one, one month and tier one, three month subscriptions are 25% off. You save, but I still receive the same cut from Twitch, so it's a great way and a great time to support your favorite creators on Twitch if you want to do that. Speaking of support, Mindtrip Media dropping in 100 bits and a lurk. Thanks very much, Mindtrip. Always great to see you. And Sweet Sandy subscribing at Tier 1. 44 months in a row. Floof, time runs fast these days. No kidding. No kidding. 44 months, Sandy. That's amazing. And while we're here, uh, Sandy, thank you ever so much for all the help. With the modding, as of lately, uh, I know that you've been stepping up, and I, I truly, truly appreciate it. And that means a hype train is close. We've got uh, 2 minutes and 40 seconds if you want to join the hype train, or at least uh, not join it, get it started. Just needs 100 bits in the next 2 minutes, or a tier 1 sub. Or prime sub, I think, too. So, uh, we have one week left until uh, Satisfactory 1.0 drops. been watching a lot of videos from Bits and from Total Eclipse. Uh, two folks that I really enjoy. If you do um, bang SF creators in chat, you should get a link to a bunch of people that I rather enjoy watching play Satisfactory, if you want to find some other Satisfactory creators out there. And they are pretty adamant about starting over, but they both do tutorial YouTube stuff. Uh, I'm going to try my luck with keeping this save, uh, all 1,100 hours of it, and uh, continuing on. I fully understand I'm going to have to rebuild some stuff. I know some stuff will break and that's fine. It's not going to completely halt my progress because while we have unlocked all the way up to tier eight, we are in no way, shape or form ready to automate anything in tier eight. So we've unlocked tier eight, but we're not automatically making heat sinks. We're not automatically making supercomputers uh none of those things are being made outside of pipes so really i'm more like at i'm more at like tier four in terms of my my tech i think in terms of no i'm not yeah so tier four i haven't even automated motors so i mean i have just not here not in this factory not in my major main state so i'm not too worried about it what i really don't want to have to destroy and start over is the Megatron power facility that is pumping out 60 megawatts and uh, I think if anything we might actually get more power out of that in 1.0 so it's not finished from a design perspective but it is finished from a functionality perspective and I think also kind of like a, a good time to have not finished that you know uh, we can make adjustments like maybe we have to add more blenders I, I don't know what's going to happen over there, but that will probably be one of the first things we tackle. Uh, today, one of the things I wanted to do was um, I went over to the Western Slopes and I grabbed a bunch of stuff off the train. So we're going to put some of this stuff away here. Lots of quick wire. I also feel like I want. I wish you could have um, ways to get into hyper tubes halfway through. You should have like a a quick quick access. Maybe they'll add that at 1.0. Maybe they'll add like a T junction or something. That would be fun. Especially if it was like enter only. That would be cool. All right, quick wire is I believe here. I don't think I have it anywhere along here. Nor do I think I have room for it anywhere along here. This is all temporary storage, of course. That's empty. I 
I guess we could put it over there. So I'm trying to get as much as I can in a local area here. So as we need to retrofit and make changes, I'm not having to travel all over the map to do stuff. I can't remember, uh, Sweet Sandy, who's on that list on the SF Creators list? I'm sure Total Eclipse and Bits are there. If not, let me know and I'll, I'll add them. Sulfur is over here. You're watching bits earlier today, Dan? Yeah, I had bits on at my... I was having a quick lunch after the gym. I Normally I go to the gym after stream, but I decided to go to the gym before stream today. I can probably take two bins at a time, can I? Not quite. Uh, Total Eclipse is one of them. Want me to write them all down? Um, yeah, if you don't mind, Sandy, just toss a quick note in chat. You don't have to do like the links. Just I'm just I want to make sure I haven't left anybody. B L Andrew, Total Eclipse, Bits, I am Kibitz, and Fuxo should be all on the list. I didn't have time before I started today. Uh, we are going to... Silica can go over here. We need another one of these. Can't build one yet. Plates and pipes. Plates and rods, rather. I hope they fix these weird connections in the release, too. Oh crap, I put that on the wrong one. Where does that go? Next door. It's alright, I need that anyway. Beal Andrew, Fluxo, I am Kibitz, It's Bits, Total Eclipse, What Darren Plays, right? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, 06685 and King Struction. Cool. Nope. That's all good. No one left off. I know what you meant, though. Thanks, Andy. Might as well just leave this here. I'm going to remove one card just because it's a little bit long. Are you full of stuff? You are not. You are, though. Petroleum Coke? Yeah.
black powder. Where do I want to put the black powder? Could keep that with the sulfur. We have a lot of it here, though. I could probably move this stuff. I feel like I had biomass in other places too. This feels like a better place to keep all of this stuff. That's done. Then I had this bin down here that's kind of random. That's not on. Spring cleaning in September, yeah. I just I want to just make sure that I've got my head wrapped around this save so that I'm not lost trying to do things on the day. I guess that's probably a good spot to keep all that. I feel like there's a way to stack these. Oh, I don't have enough concrete. This will be more useful. Tin Mirren, subscribe to Tier 1. 22 months. Thanks so much, Tin Mirren. I really appreciate that. Once again, folks, 25% uh, off subs for September. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. I, got, this is, I picked this up from... I'm Kibitz. I think he's done this before. They're not quite in the middle, but you can make them look close enough. You can paint these as well. So that's food. Don't 
know why rubber's in there. Thought plastic and rubber was over here. There's plastic. Maybe we should make this rubber? I already have those, so I don't need those in here. What I have not done is hook up any kind of automatic feed into this. I could do that temporarily today. go in there. I feel like screws would be better on this side. Don't really have a Caterium swatch. <clears throat> Slice, Mr. Hello, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. We have more storage, so that's good. I don't know. Two. That's obviously going down under the ground somewhere. I would say. Yes. I also don't need all of this. I'm also just trying to delete a lot of like extra stuff that I don't want to bring forward. Clutter I don't want to bring forward in the save. Just in case it causes problems. And this, of course, defeats the whole purpose of the, of the floor being raised, but I like being this level, so we'll probably remove a lot of this stuff, because they're old and ugly. I prefer the new catwalks anyway. It's probably pretty 
good. So I'm just getting ready for 1.0, kind of puttering around the base a little bit, uh, taking care of some inventory and just kind of tidying things up as I see them. Uh, we also will be going over a couple of different factory areas and I'll be making some notes and adjustments and... Oh, auto save. I just wanted to have a chill afternoon, you know? I wanted to kind of just kind of get in here and refamiliarize myself with the game a bit. I've been doing that the last couple of weeks. Crazy to think that this was built before signs were a thing. There's a giant hole there. Question is, do I want this gap? Probably not. I mean, this is a temporary storage room. <clears throat> Pardon me, this is a temporary storage room anyway. So we'll uh, we'll be able to get something higher up and more permanent, but I'm gonna need a place to kind of branch out from as we slowly make things a lot easier to find. Okay, how did I do this? My guess is that. Looks about right. close enough to center I think feels a lot tighter yes okay uh, I also think I will double up on these signs Quartz. 
South Copper, East Tower Hub. Whoops. Now, this one unfortunately sends us into the wrong spot. This goes to West Devastator? Uh, sure. Okay. Let's move that so it's a little clearer. Need. What do I need to make a hypertube? Most of my stuff. Some of this I can put over here. Need all of the plates. I feel like the plates are probably full anyway. Oh no. I don't remember whether I had radio control units anywhere. And I feel like those are mostly iron. No, they're aluminum and computers. I guess I'll put them over here. Crystal oscillators.
Now we just bring them forward. Oh, on a ladder. I often find I'm guessing where I'm going. So that one we'll have to change. So this is just West Devastator. So let's just take this one. And I feel like I could make this a lot more accessible. I think it's the same as, I think it's four ticks in the middle. Feels straight to me. This one. I feel like that makes more sense. Good. Now this one is the West Coast oil. And I think that this just goes all the way out this way. We won't take it, but I'm pretty sure that it... Yeah, there's an option to get off here, or I can take it that way. Okay. So that's good. It's ugly, but whatever. A lot of stuff I'm not going to fix until 1.0 comes out. It's more about just organization. Now, the problem with this one here is that it's only an up... And as far as I know, it's just not powerful enough to get you past um, the suction of the things next to it. So you end up being sent right back down again. Which is weird because I, I've got a very similar setup at the another tower, but it doesn't work that way. So I guess the solution there is to bend the top. We'll have to add another another spot. Where do I want to come out? It would be more convenient to come out here. This may be a bad idea. We'll see. Hopefully this doesn't hurt me <laughs> when I do it. That's certainly tidier. Maybe we'll just get rid of this.
Would it be different if you had an entrance on it? Uh, that I don't know. I'd rather end up like right at my storage. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. They look so different once they're lit. That shouldn't be a problem. Cool. Word Nerdify, hello, hello, welcome in. Cosmic runs into chat, throws hellos and cosmic rainbows at everyone and then runs back again. Thanks for dropping by, Cosmic. Good to see you. That's feeling cleaner. I've not run into too much here, I guess. Do I need more sulfur space? No. Somewhere, is it here? Yeah, that's where it is. do both of those in there and then we'll make that green oh it's already green I just didn't look it computers and supercomputers make sense together I guess I could put these up there too they are they do have a little bit of a yellow Highlight on them. I don't think I have any cable here, so we'll have to do that. A lot of times I just try to walk around with two stacks of certain things in your inventory. I think the concrete was full. Yep.
don't need that many motors. Yield a lot more manageable. Now, was there other kind of hot trash around here that I needed to fix? I feel like I should make this a little bit higher. Very much a strange way of hooking things up. That all makes sense. So one thing I don't really have is a central bin to just dump everything in. Originally, you can see the plan was to have a bunch of uh, smart um, splitters and stuff around here, but we have not got that far. Uh, you know what? Yeah, it's nighttime, and it's about 50 minutes into the into the stream. I think that's a good spot to take a short break. Good call, Sandy. Appreciate that. We need a new train. I don't know if I've made that the default color or what. We will go to uh, Megatron, Construction 2, and Devastator Hub. All right, folks, I take a break about once an hour. It is that time. You get to enjoy the train ride. I'll be back in just a few minutes.
one thing I will say about my satisfactory streams, I much prefer the break screen with the video. I think it's cool. Better than a still image. I should try to make some video of Minecraft and use it as like a B-roll or something. Maybe I'll get like a fly through with um, one of the mods. So there's obviously a problem with my track because I could not go on the drive before. It didn't auto switch. Have a merge where it goes from a following a train to following a minecart. That would be a neat idea. Doing like a minecart thing. That would be fun. So this is obviously not supposed to be a block signal. I don't exactly know what we've done here. That's right. So that's the problem. If that's a path signal, does that make sense? No. So why does this make its own block? That is dumb. That should work now. There we go. Okay. I wish they would choose colors that were higher contrast. Sometimes they've got like peach and yellow right next to each other and it's really hard to see. Yeah, I just don't know why the block included this piece when I put I put this here, but I guess. Can you change the highlight colors in the menu? Um, I don't know if you can change the highlight colors in the train section. You can. in yeah hologram dismantle hard clearance but i don't think you can change the train blocks not that i can see it would be cool if they added that in 1.0 though All right, I don't see anything else down here that's crazy, although this is a little bit odd. Why am I sending stuff up here? Steel. Right, that should be sent to the other sinks. We've got two of them happening here. All right, well, we can just um, push that straight through, which is looking like something I was planning on doing but never got to. Turn off the music. Probably just use that first one. That's all being sent over. Feels slow, but everything's a Mark V.
Oh, come on, silly. I guess I should probably use the hover pack instead, huh? Why won't you snap? Mark 5, Mark 5, Mark 5, Mark 5. Now I just have to take the stuff from here to there. And I gotta make sure that that belt is getting sunk. I would say it is. Okay. That's the wrong one. And so that's got extra frames. Don't know why that's got extra frames. This has got extra steel. No power. There we go. So that It's extra steel. And that means I can get rid of almost all of this. What is this? Potentially rods. I probably shouldn't leave that completely empty. We should probably attach that to another merger. I do remember now the frustrations with the uh, the hover pack. Uh, the the range is not what it should be. I don't think.
Okay, anything coming along there will get sunk. That's not fast enough though. So we're putting too much on probably this one belt here. Why don't I put it on this one below? So strange how they don't connect. Now, I've got to double check that this is being sunk. Survey says, yes it is. They said on stream today that it will be a tier nine thing. What will be a T9, tier nine thing? Uh, hover pack 1.0. Um, oh no, Mark 6 belt. Yeah, I knew that. Okay. So we can remove all of this. Basically, I just want to have myself a nice clear vision of what I need to do. Essentially, once the material gets into here, we have to decide whether it's going to be sunk, stored, all that kind of stuff. And this will eliminate all of these big machines that kind of in the way of how I envision the shape of this area taking place. I'm not sure about this train track either. We'd have to then, I mean, this could also be temporary, but I, just, I don't know about having a train. I think it would be cool. I just, I don't necessarily want to hide all of this, but because of the way that we've got the train, uh, I'm not sure if you've seen in the distance for anybody that's new. Um, we've got these, the train design is like a hover sign thing. Where's the train platform? There they are in the distance. Yeah, so we're not really building like a proper train support. We're building these like Cybertronian looking things that keep the track hovering and we could do that I think down the middle of the of the basin I think it would look pretty cool and it wouldn't obstruct anything yeah I had the rail up there because I was trying to figure out how to build it but I think that was before I decided on those those train supports so now like we could totally have you know like a train support here I actually, you know, I have those in blueprints. I've got like the top. Maglev train top tower segment section lights. So there's the top right there, right? But I mean, it's still a chonky, still a chonky thing, right? So that would have to be kind of like right there.
See, like, yeah. I mean, it would flip the other way. But then the support of it would end up, like, blocking. So we'd have to come up with a separate way to do it. Maybe two two pillars down the sides. So So framing that so that it doesn't block the actual throughput. I could do something smaller for we just one track. You're, that's very true. Yeah, that's true. And a lot of this stuff wouldn't be there, like all that platform stuff, like the, these little bits here, they are there just for attaching rails. But then once the rails are attached, you can delete those. And it's just the hovering sign so i think that look would look pretty cool from up top too right it would it does hide a lot if we made it higher like if we brought the train instead of having the train coming in here because this thing is going to go if the train was going in like right in here like up in that section then it wouldn't obstruct this because it would be something cool to look at in the sky, actually. Skytrain would be cool. And Skytrain, I think, was the name of a Decepticon. Yeah, I don't think we're going to go fight that road. Probably still leave that there just for sake of a reminder. The idea was to use the basement to then load up the train. But once you realize how much space trains take, you realize you can't you can't really fit a train station down here. Astrotrain and Skyliner, or there's two? Which one was the Decepticon? Was it Astrotrain? Yeah, I obviously had measured some stuff out here too. Because the idea would be for a train to potentially come in here and empty its contents into elevators that would go up into our storage system and then we could use our starter factory as a way um to as a way to um keep the storage and and that way i would not have to keep on going back to the northern forest astro train is a decepticon triple changer that's what i thought that's what i thought it was like a space shuttle and it's a space shuttle and a train, right? I thought that he was purple and, and beige. Interesting. I forgot that he was purple train. That looks like a cool image. I thought Astro Train was a cooler design. What was the other one? Skyliner? Skyliner Transformer. Oh, the new movie is... Uh, G1? I don't see a Skyliner. Sky Links? I remember Sky Links. He was like a it's like a pterodactyl thing.
Yeah. What a weird, weird toy. Bizarre. Oh, Skylander was the name you thought up. Void presence. I see. I see. I see. I see. No, I, I, I like. Um, I need to come up with some other. Um, my keyboard is really slow when I'm streaming. Uh, I need to come up with some other Decepticons for themes like Shockwave or Soundwave or um, like Trypticons or Starscream would be a good one to do as well. But I just don't know yet what we'll like be building. Like what, what would a Starscream factory make, you know? Maybe drones? That would be kind of funny, actually. Alright, is there any other mess out here? Yes. Got the designer. And a bunch of cables. I don't know where. That's not going anywhere. Those are, I think, going to that tower. But they are powered from the side, not here. Oh, I just unpowered a bunch of stuff here. Why did you all lose power? That's not good. I thought power was coming in from the main main hub here. I might have cut power by mistake somewhere. I did. You are not getting juice. Why are you not getting power? You're getting power. I don't remember cutting that little line. That was weird. Those are back on. Those are back on. I think I was just using that to try out the zip lining. And these are here, but they're not being used for anything anymore. I don't know why. We, oh, I think the aluminum concrete, the wet concrete from aluminum, I think replaced what these guys were doing temporarily. So these are all hooked up, but not actually doing anything as far as I can remember. Nothing coming in and 
Nothing going out. Nope. Okay. Not receiving. Not exporting. Um, Cyclonus for particle accelerator factories. Cyclonus would be cool. What does Cyclonus look like? Oh, yeah. I remember Cyclonus. There's some cool designs for Cyclonus in the newer shows. Very spiky. That's Cyclonus. I like the shape of the jet. All the Transformers names are so 80s. <laughs> It's very much like what you expected it to be on the tin. So that's just lights for for screenshots, I think. That's not a big deal. I've not decorated the inside of these factories at all. Looking forward to having the new parts to do that, of course. One thing I'd like to have is like a, a electrical room where I can actually track where all the wires are going. It's pretty straightforward. I've, I've essentially used the walkways. So the power comes in and it essentially goes under this walkway this way and under this walkway this way. And then anytime you see like one of these bridges, there's usually a cable that goes underneath it. And that's how I've hooked up the power for most things. Uh, obviously, I just didn't connect everything over there. Okay, I'm not seeing much out that way in terms of garbage. That's good. How are we doing over here? I'm going to keep that designer there because I'm probably going to use it to make some stuff. So I'll keep that where it is. I'm seeing... Oh, that's a shadow from the hypertube. Uh, the truck... Those are all for water. Those aren't hooked up. I was probably just measuring. Those are all the um, antennae from the um, uh, awesome sinks underneath. I think our awesome sinks are all running pretty accurately. I don't think there's any slowdowns. No one's being overfed. No, looks like we're good. That's another thing that's going to be difficult if I ever started over is getting all my colors back. Did I pick up the boombox? Uh, where did I leave it? Where was it sitting around? At the oil place. Oh, no. I did not. I've also got concrete storage happening here. That's good to know.
So we are never really short on concrete, which is nice. think there's anything that I'm missing in terms of garbage hanging around. Everything else that's placed has probably been placed because I've been measuring stuff. So I think the next thing is going to be to look at um, our spreadsheet and see what the iron might be doing. See if there's anything missing as far as information. Um, we've done all the copper we did that last time so this stuff i could maybe label a little bit clearer um these are all pure and untapped couple of the limestones are being sent along. Quartz is untapped. And obviously I'm not going to tap into these until 1.0 because the, the location and the purity would change potentially. Limestone 13... It's going to eliminate. I don't know that that's necessarily all still accurate. South leg refinery belt unused. Wrong belts. Rocky desert south resources numbered east to west. Limestone 18 and 19. I wonder if that's what's being temporarily used underneath Devastator there for concrete storage. Limestone 18 and 19. Rocky Desert South, east to west, there's 14, 13, 19. Why did I name them backwards? I must have gone, no, I didn't even go north-south. I must, be... yeah, that's so strange. Why did I go? I must have thought at some point I should do clockwise when really what I should do is just left to right. Here, I'm sure I went north to south, but this should be in my mind, I would make this 16, 17 to 18, 19, right? South refinery unused. Unused, it says. Thirteen is being used for aluminum. I don't believe that. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe. Yeah, I'm having a flashback here. I think it's lined up underneath the water. I would say that's probably exactly what's going on. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's going to aluminum. Okay. And there was other ones. Nine and one and two. Where is nine and one and two? Seven, five, eight, twelve. Ethereum. One and two. Two is being used. And one must be this one. 600 a minute. This backup concrete box. I think that's been changed. Underclocked to 80. We are going to double check that. 696. I really like the changes in update 8 to the jetpack. You can get a lot farther. There's a lot of things to keep track of. There's going to be even more once update 1.0 comes out and I have to change a bunch of stuff. But that's fine. We can just go through it systematically. That's what I want. That's why I want to make sure my notes are are accurate now, right? So there is limestone number 1. Accurate. And I would say that's number two. That looks like it is being merged with this. And this should be underclocked. Yep. 696. gets pulled off. That was going to be able to fit. And that is an inaccurate sign. Limestone. Not the easiest to see. And 
where are we here? That's the middle. So we are one, two, three down next to the middle. So what I should have here is a main bus. And that goes to what concrete production? I'm assuming we will double check that. And that is part of aluminum. And there we go. Rocky Desert Limestone. One, two, nine, and 13. Okay, so then we're on the main bus. Limestone. Not unused. And how are we numbering these? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, sixteen. A four. It's a lot of belts. So belt number nineteen. And then nine is also going to aluminum refinement. Where's nine? No, nine is not. So why? 13 is 300 per minute. I must be pulling more than 300 from 13. Because nine is just going to concrete storage, I think. Unless the concrete storage is the overflow, that could be that could be the case. That could be the case. I can't wait to have all the final pieces with the 1.0 release so we can start to make this look like Devastator. I know I keep on talking about it, but it doesn't really make me feel Decepticon vibes. The same way that my Metroplex save really does feel like an Autobot themed save. Now that we've labeled everything, this is a lot easier. That's a Mark V, so that must be kicking out 600. It's also stuttering, which is not good. Nope, it's 300 per minute. Okay, so that is... Thirteen. So that is going to aluminum refinement. So where is the nine going? I think I was right. I think the nine, I think what's happening with nine is it's making concrete overflow, not purely backup concrete. 
I think there's a there's an overflow splitter somewhere. Yeah, because there's a merger here. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's the merger. And so... Oh, this is not hooked up at all. This is just done. So that's entirely misleading. I used to have this hooked up to this belt. That's why... Yeah. Okay. So what we should do is get rid of this. And we've just got extra concrete down here. That's fine. So that means that this is correct. Does not go on the main bus. I'm going to move this over here. Because this merges with... Just like little notes like this just really, I think, help you remember what's happening underneath. Cool. So that all makes sense. 18 and 19 are next, but I'm going to take a short break because it is nighttime and very hard to see. Is there ever th such a thing as enough concrete? No. In this game, you screws and concrete are the two things that you want an absolute ton of. Uh, once again, folks, uh, normally it's once an hour. In Satisfactory, it's about once every 50 or 55 minutes because that's when the nighttime falls and it just makes it a lot easier on everybody, uh, including me, because uh, not everything is lit up, so it's a lot easier to see what's going on. I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
did it try to take a shortcut? Yes, I think it did. I think the other issue is that the track connects back to the main track. Uh, I think Satisfactory assumes all trains are going to be in motion at all times. Which I think is not great. So these are the limestone nodes we have to check. And they're doing something. not crazy about that mess there either. So the easiest thing to do is just to disconnect it. That way it won't be an actual path. And that should that should solve the problem. It's a bit of faulty logic, especially when you can specify how long a train will be at the station. Yeah, I agree. So yeah, we can just delete this section here. I just thought it would be nice to be able to drive out, but I guess that's not the case. You'd have to treat it more like an intersection. There'd have to be a roundabout or something. Would be my guess. Maybe have Redstone take out the track. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wrong game. Yeah, that's fair. I can't wait to have a permanent hypertube setup, too. Have it look nice. That limestone does not look like it's going anywhere. And this is 19, I think. Nineteen. Mark two, 120 per minute, Zelts refinery unused. And then the other one was 18, way over there. That also does not look like it's moving. Yeah, that's the one up on the hill. Right, yeah, up there. Okay. Crap. You coming or what? Oh, wait a minute. I think I've got creatures on passive. Right. Cool. Uh, 120 also just doing its own thing. I think I have them on retaliate for the mobs. 
18 Mark II 120 South Refinery unused. So it's belted to the South Refinery. So then on the sheet, South Lake Refinery, wrong belts. I don't know what I meant by wrong belts. Let's see where they go. So they both are belted into here. I'm assuming they just stop. Well, they go all the way to the main bus and then stop there. Don't know why it does that. It's very odd. So, I don't know why it says wrong belts. Maybe because they are on the incorrect belt. Ah, it's on a Mark 1 belt, not a Mark 2 belt. Okay, well, I could be clearer. So, it's a Mark 1 belt. It's only 60 per minute per. Uh, so... I will just simply make a better a better note.
Cool. Okay. Uh, this was the copper stuff we talked about before. And this is Devastator Scavenger Station. Smelter 20 on the fifth floor. I've got a question mark about two Mark IV belts. So Scavenger is the Green Valley. I guess we'll double check that. And I think that's all the odd notes that I saw on this page. So that means we were done with this. That's good. This is something we looked at a couple, like a week ago, I think. So, Devastator Scavenger Station. Sorry, I was looking at this. Um, this is something that we, we tackled last week. So with belt currently at mark one it's a much clearer note and um now we can go and check out what i mean by this note which i don't remember so we'll figure that out it's hard to remember when you have the um the spreadsheet up and not I think what probably happened, Sweet Sandy, is I probably ran out of resources and I probably just put down the belts that I could for the design. Scavenger. I don't remember where Scavenger is. I think that's Scavenger there. I don't remember these having... Oh, that's just a texture glitch. That is Scavenger there. We'll wait to see what happens after it unloads, but I'm pretty sure we've got two, two Mark V lifts exiting. It's obviously still receiving stuff, so that's good. I'm really curious to see what that final animation is going to look like. I hope they drop those containers. It'd be kind of cool. 600 per minute that is exactly what we should be getting because that is coming in from this one single iron mine there so that's accurate in a very good way i wonder if i should move my map key from my m key on my keyboard to my uh stream deck i wonder if that's why i keep on forgetting this is Iron ore, we've got Mark 5, Mark 5, Mark 5, and it is coming out into one Mark 5 belt, which can handle the full 600. In the middle, where does the middle go? tricky middle is oh this is that sideways I didn't do a very good job lining this up sort of thing right so it is not two belts it is one it's on the third track That is one, two, three, twenty-seven.
and that goes to the 20 smelters on the fifth floor of the north leg iron smelting and that goes to heavy modular frames steel production and that should be alt heavy modular frames yeah So should this all be? I should also note this this is this is um how do I want to say this messy belt at bus entrance I guess start Okay, so this goes to, we are following this guy. One, two, three. I would travel right through the middle, but there's a giant rock in here. We're actually cheating and we're sending the some of the material through the rock. You go in there. I have to find out the other way. One, two, three. All right, that's you on the side there. Which means that's you there. So... That one. I think it's that, that one there. Yep, corner. It's the only one coming in on this level. That is indeed going up to the fifth floor and is feeding all of these guys. They're not rolling steadily. They don't seem to have any problems. I don't know whether that's an animation thing. Yeah, it looks like they're doing just fine. But for whatever reason, they're kind of audio visual stutters, but game stats, it looks like it's 100% without any problems. And that is going into there and across my little bridge here don't know why these are they should all be producing the same amount I wonder if there's a piece of belt somewhere
It's all Mark V. That's oh, probably the slowdown is likely a splitter somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, that should be rolling smoothly, but I don't know why it's not. Unless the output is slow. Fourteen percent. You are clogged on the output. That is why you're slow. Why are you slow? This is slow on the output as well. That's a Mark IV. Should that be not a Mark IV? What is this making? 20 per minute. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 400 per minute. It's a Mark IV belt. It should be plenty. There's got to be a belt not accurate somewhere. This is a blueprint, so I wonder if there's a problem with the blueprint. Where do the pipes go? Uh, they are being turned into... Um, I think these ones are being turned into... Encased industrial beams. They also might be on a... Um, whatchamacallit? Uh, awesome sink? They are going under the ground. Ah, they are going across the way. Maybe they are not getting synced. Ah, they are indeed getting synced. They are probably getting synced too slowly from the look of it. Yeah. Not really sure how to balance this overflow stuff. So everything under here that's heading west is all overflow belts. Got room below it. I just need a way to alleviate the pressure, I guess.
And I could probably do that here. Move the quartz to another belt. Uh, I could do that too. Yeah, this is empty. I think the quartz is just being produced at such a higher rate, it's probably going to clog whatever belt we attach it to. This is where the 1200 belts are going to come in super handy. To be able to use them for your garbage chutes is going to be amazing. Yeah, what are we producing here? It's got to be... It's 1360 something. Four twenty per minute, so yeah, that's eight hundred on one belt. That's what's happening. Okay, well, let's just have you split up and join another belt. I think that's being used for quartz. Yes, so we'll use this one. What is the easiest way to do this? Could also just put them on this one. Does that have anything else on it? Uh, it does. So I'm going to go with the top one instead. is not what I wanted, I don't think. What I should do is a smart splitter, I guess. But we'll just do it as a splitter. So it'll take a little bit, I think, for the backlog. Still doesn't seem to be splitting it evenly. Seems to be flowing a little bit better. It's 
funny how one little backlog will just go all the way back to your early plates, right? This will take a little bit of time, I think, to get going. I mean, we can also do things like remove some of the steel pipes from the machines as well. Once you have a backlog like that, it takes a while. Well, already a little bit less of a stutter. It, they, this should look just like those because I think it's the same amount of stuff on each belt. Cool. So that was messy belt, 600 iron ingots, top floor production. That was just me chasing down a visual problem. I think I've got everything on the main bus now labeled. This is something else I don't want to have to redo. Another reason why I, I want to start with this save on 1.0. Even though I'm not a great big fan of this train station, I do, I do like this idea of the bus. I think the other issue I have with the train um, coming down the middle is I don't know where to get the train from. Right, like this line is the closest we can get to there. So I have to have like this weird triple split down there. And so the only place to put the train is here, which feels like I want it to be in the middle, but then, I mean, I guess I could, I could ditch this station. If I wanted to redo uh, Mixmaster and put that somewhere else, have Bone Crusher be the last station here and then start to go vertical with them. We could do that too. I think there's a lot of decisions I just never pulled the trigger on because it just didn't make sense until 1.0 came out. We've got three coal across the bottom. I should remove that. So three and six across the top are not labeled. Currently open. So that's those six right there. I guess the steel pipe is happening later on down the line. And then also nine and 10 are open. Nine and ten have belts, but they do not have anything hooked up to them. Correct. So I guess the better way to look at this would be to have this here. knowing that that gets potentially blocked later on down the line. Cool. 
quartz, quartz. What's on the bottom left? Bauxite. All four of those are bauxite? I disagree. I think this is going to eventually be bauxite, maybe. There's a bauxite node that we have not tapped, and that's probably what it's from. Or for. One hundred and fifty per minute. How's that getting 460 items? I wonder if it's taking the number of platform cars. Yeah, like this should be... One, two, three. It should be 1,800. And instead it's 1,800 divided by four. Yeah. That's what it's doing. Imagine Mark six belts emptying out those platforms. Yeah, really though, right? Well, that's good to know. It's good to know that if we have an inaccurate reading on one of these train platforms, the first thing you should check to see is what other platforms are also doing the same thing. Does this have anything in it? Oh, that does have stuff in it. Huh. That is strange. I wonder why that's... Huh. I know I did some balancing way up at the bauxite place. Oh, okay, that's why it's empty. It's because it runs out. Okay. Yeah, so it's not perfectly balanced. This one, this one has got less in it, so. And there we have all four bauxite, okay. All four bauxite quartz, and then we've got double coal. And then two empty, and then copper. Two empty copper ore. And then the whole middle is free and clear. At the front, anyway. And then two empty limestone and coal. And then two coal and three iron. Nice. Up to date. Just ugly. Okay, so, now that that is up to snuff, so there's a scavenger throughput error that we can't address until 1.0. Ethereum I'm not messing with. Quartz is going to change. Bone crusher throughput is also not great. I need to do a proper bone crusher throughput calculation as well. And again, not worth doing until we have all the nodes and know it's coming in. 
Same thing with the Red Forest and the Crater Lakes. So a lot of the overflow looks like it's tied to the train, so we'll have to be careful with that. We went over this the other day, so that is all sorted. Although it doesn't look like these are hooked up on the spreadsheet. I feel like my spreadsheet ended up with an error somehow, like a save error. I feel like there's some weird stuff just straight up missing in here that are a copy paste error so the output here should be 80 modular frames per minute we can check that we are right here And that is on the next floor. And that's what this is. 40 assemblers making 80 modular frames. 80 modular frames per minute going to heavy modular frame production. That, however, I think is not correct. I think that should be 60. So I need to figure out where the overflow is going. Sixty going in, yeah, 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 yeah. Seven point five times eight. Yep. So I'll just change the signs here so I can have better accurate stuff in game. So we'll do. Hmm. Sixty modular frames per minute to heavy modular frame production. Should be 20. And I don't know where it's going to. I'm assuming those are the modular frames that I saw on the sink belt. So it looks like this is all being merged. Sent out here. You look like a smart splitter. Modular frame, overflow to the left. There's the overflow. Down she goes. It's not much.
And that is probably connecting to... Yep. And that's just going on to overflow. Again, I'm using some of these belts for overflow that I really shouldn't be. I should be using a designated section where all belts are overflow and then nothing in here is. But this looks so much cooler when it's moving like this. So that's why I've got it hooked up like that. So that is good. I just have to make sure that this reflects that. And we'll just move this. One thing I don't do very well in the spreadsheet is kind of designate splitters and mergers and things. I just kind of show the aftermath, but I mean, it's obvious that it's being split, um, but it's difficult. So this should be white normally. So this is modular frame, 20 per minute. And it's going through the awesome sync array. Cool. That looks better. So that's the modular frames end. Steel pipe is down there. Encased industrial beam. And concrete. So yeah, I just didn't finish setting up this this sheet. And this is the alternate recipe for industrial beams, which we didn't use. Or did we? 28 and 20. Yep, I think that's what we used. Although that's not 8... 40. Yeah, there's definitely some work to be done 
making sure that this is accurate. I have to start it back at the beginning. And that's going to happen on another day. Yeah, it's good to go through, th through things now, I agree. I remember being very stuck on rotors and motors. I remember this page being just so much copper. So much copper. The sheet for the Megatron power facility is surprisingly simple given how big that build is. Okay, I think, especially because it's nighttime, which is another indication that I'm usually done, probably a good time to step away and uh, come back another day. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I'll be streaming again at 1 o'clock Atlantic. And uh, I don't think the Citadel Cafe recording should be a problem with my stream tomorrow. I'm going to talk to Johnny uh, and double check, but we should be good. So uh, in my community, if you're part of the Discord, we will be doing a live recording of the Citadel Cafe tomorrow. Johnny and I are going to be talking about Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power Season 2, Episodes 1, 2, and 3. That should be really fun. Johnny, of course, is my co-host on the Spawn Trunks podcast. There's a brand new episode of Out That. Uh, that's not how you say that. Of that. Out right now. There's a new episode of Spawn Trunks. It's available on YouTube. It's available on your favorite podcast app. You would think, talking for a living, that I would be better at these outros live on stream. But uh, you can follow that wherever you like to follow your podcasts. Uh, do I know what time for the Citadel Cafe tomorrow? No, I do not at this moment. But I will be touching base with Johnny tonight and letting everybody in the Discord know. My guess is that it's going to be the same time that Johnny and I tend to record the Spun Chunks, so 10 o'clock a.m. Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours, uh, so 2 p.m. in the UK would be my guess. Um, it's probably just the time that works out the best for both of us because then we can record that, I can have a lunch break, and then I can be back here to stream at 1 o'clock. That's usually how I try to time my mornings. So you can expect more of that um, this week from me. You can uh, expect to be in Minecraft tomorrow here on stream, 1 o'clock. And you can expect more streams this month than normal because of September. Again, thank you very much to uh, Tin Mirren, Sweet Sandy, Mind Trip Media for the support today. Thank you to Sweet Sandy for being an awesome moderator as always. And uh, we're going to try to pass you along to somebody else playing Satisfactory. Barring that, I will pass you along to somebody playing Minecraft let me just see who is live right now. Uh, it's Bits is not playing Minecraft. Pix is playing Elden Ring. No one's playing Satis... Oh, Total Eclipse is playing Satisfactory. We'll pass you on to Total Eclipse. Thanks ever so much, folks. Uh, remember to check out the Patreon if you'd like to support the stream. It's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. And it's less than one cup of coffee per month. Less than uh, three bucks. I think it's $2 American to join the Discord to support my stream and the work that I do. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for being here. And uh, look forward to more Satisfactory in the weeks to come. Again, 1.0 launches next Tuesday, September 10th. I believe it is at noon my time. 12 Atlantic Standard Time. 1 o'clock, uh, no, 11 a.m. Eastern in the U.S. Yeah, cool. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.